Hey there, Heather Boydwire here. I had a special request from Alman for an A-ring and because it's his birthday, I'm doing the video today. What you're going to need for this project is 18 gauge wire, 20 gauge wire, a ring cone, and your tools. So we'll start by doing the letter A with my round pliers. These have a really nice fine tip to them. So we're going to bring the wire up at an angle and then we want to form the triangle part of the A. This is the way I do A's. There's different ways you can do them and also I'll link up below the playlist of all the uh, capital and lowercase letters as well. So you just basically do a triangle that makes the A and then we're going to bring the wires up on a bit of a curve and to put them in the ring. So whatever height that you want them and there's different ways that you can do this. I want to keep it quite clean. So we're just going to go up here and so the A is not going to flip all over the place. I'm going to just bring this sort of center it out like this. So we're going to go here and center it out. And then we want to make the ring form. I have a thicker wire, 18 gauge wire, and we're just going to wind it around the ring cone. Now I have a tutorial that's um, rings to make and sell and this is very classic design that we used to make in the 90s when we were selling jewelry on the street and it's a nice classic easy to de uh, design to do for rings so normally what i would do is put a bead on this ring but because we want to do the letter this is going to work too so i just cut that flush and what we want to do is take our round pliers and bring it around here now there are other ways you can do a letter ring. I have a tutorial where you put the letter in a little round frame, which is great because it's very solid. But this is just sort of a, a more novelty style ring. So there's one of the loops. And then you decide how wide you need this to be because your letter is going to go in the middle. And so you need to know how wide it's going to be. So leave space enough for the letter and then that it'll still fit on your finger. And we're just going to bend this one up and bring it around. So basically you just want to center a couple of little loops on either side. You'll see how it goes there. And then we'll clip the end here just with our flush cutters, our nippers I think they're called. And then we're going to just close this up here. So we'll just close that one up. There we go. So it's not, there's no little sharp ends and this one too. And adjust it if you have to and then at that point you probably want to make sure it's still nice and round and this might end up being a little bit big but with practice you'll get to know you know the sizes and then what we want to do is put the letter in between here and I like that it's sort of more centered like that I think it's a good idea in fact I think it's going to be better if we bend these to the back so let's just go ahead and hold this with our flat pliers gently so you don't scratch it and this one here too, fold it to the back. So then what we're going to do is put them both in here towards the bottom. So they're just gonna go both down there, the little ends. And then we're gonna take this and hold it snugly and then we're gonna just wind this around the band. Okay, so we're just gonna wind it around the band. This is nice because you can get some nice details in the letter by using a thinner 20 gauge wire but yet the band is stronger because it's 18 gauge wire so that's great so now we're going to snip that one here and then this one too we're going to wind it around if you need help get your pliers and that'll help to wind it around especially if your end is short sometimes you don't have anything to grip onto so the pliers really help it to wind it right around there and get it nice and snug. So we'll do that. We'll clip the end here and then we're going to get our flat pliers just to make sure it's these ends are pushed down and not sharp. This one too, push it down and not sharp. And then we're going to take our ring cone again. I always like to, you know, center it again and this ends up being super cute. I love it looks fantastic and it's perfect 
for Elman on his birthday. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share pictures of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my wire work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to hop on the mailing list, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching. Happy birthday, Alman, and we'll see you the next time.